This is how you can host your Discord bot online 24-7 for free, so let's go and get started. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and click the link in the description below to get to the sillydev.co.uk website. And once you're here, we're going to go ahead and click on join at the top here. So the first thing that you're going to actually have to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and create an account with a username, email, and password. After you go ahead and create that account, it will redirect you to the login page. Once you're on that login page, all you have to do is log in with that account you just created. And then you're done. Now you will be put into the panel right here so basically how this works is you get credit for every five minutes of afk so if we go over to the balance tab as you can see here i have 365 credits from my afk time so how this works is for every minute you are on the site you will get five credits so all you have to do is like watch youtube or do something else and leave this site open in the background and you're just going to get a bunch of credits so this is technically free hosting all you have to do is afk so once you have enough credits, or once you've AFK'd enough, all you have to do is go to the store and click on create server. Once you're here, you can go ahead and give it a name. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and do tutorial server, and we can go ahead and do tutorial host for a video. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and give it the CPU, RAM, and storage. I'm just going to leave it as default. Then we're going to go ahead and leave all of the features as default as well. Once you're here, we're going to go ahead and select a node, so either USA or UK. So I tried the USA one and it's brand new, so it's a little bit glitchy. So I would recommend just using the UK one for now and it's cheaper as well. For the server nest, we're gonna go ahead and choose coding language. And for the server egg, that's gonna be the language that your bot is made with. So for me, that's gonna be node.js. We can go ahead and click on create here. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and create a server and it's gonna go ahead and run the installer. So just give it a few minutes. You can go ahead and reload the page at any time. And then once you reload, if the installer is finished, you will be able to go ahead and customize your server. All right, so now that your server has actually been created, we can go ahead and get our files from the bot and import it into the project. So to do that, we're gonna go over to the desktop and we're gonna go ahead and create a new zip folder. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call this host zip or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And we can go ahead and actually open this up and we can also go ahead and open up your bot's files. So you can go ahead and drag all of your bot's files in here. Just do not include that node modules because because the node modules is going to be imported after. If you're using Replit or some other online coding program, just go ahead and download the files from it and import it into a zip, and then you can actually go ahead and put those files within your host. So now that you have the zip prepared, we can actually open up that host again, and we're gonna go ahead and drag it over to the side. We can go over to files, and we can go ahead and drag that host zip into the files right here. Now that it's here, we're gonna go ahead and click these three dots, and we're gonna go ahead and click on unarchive, and then we can go ahead and click on the host zip, and we're actually going to go ahead and delete that. From there, all we have to do is go ahead and configure a few startup settings and then we'll be set to start. So we're going to go over to the startup here and as you can see, it's going to have our JS file or our main file. So this is going to be the main file in your code project. So for me, it's going to be index.js. So we have to change this to the path that the file is located in. So for me, it's within the SRC file. So we're going to do SRC slash index.js. Uh, for you, it might be something different. Just make sure you get that path correct. So after you do that, we should be good to go ahead and actually turn this on. So we can head over to our console and we can go ahead and click on start. So what it's going to go ahead and do now is it's going to go ahead and download the node modules. It's going to import everything from the package.json and it's going to go ahead and get everything prepared. So just go ahead and give it some time and then the bot should turn on. On. All right, so here we have our first error. It's going to go ahead and say that it cannot find module discord.js. So it's actually a really, really simple fix for this. All you have to do is head over to the startup and we're going to go ahead and find your additional node packages. And in here, you just go ahead and put in discord.js. So for whatever package you get that error in, if you have one at all, just go ahead and put that package within the additional node packages. Now, keep in mind, you can install multiple at once. For example, if you were to do .env, you could do a space and then the next package name. But I'm only going to install discord.js. So now we should be able to go back into our console and we can go ahead and click on start again. As you can see here, I got this error again after putting the discord.js package into our additional packages. So to fix this, if you continue to get the error, just go over to files and just go ahead and click on the cache npm node modules and just go ahead and delete it. And then you should be able to go back to the console and go ahead and start it again. All right, so after making that change, the bot actually turned on. And one other thing that I did do was I deleted the cache.npm node modules and I also deleted the package lock.json. And then of course I added the discord.js to the install branch and the additional node packages. I basically just did every possible thing that could fix that issue of not having the package installed. 
So if you need to do any of that to make it work, feel free to do that. But now that the bot has turned on, uh, we should be good to go. All right, so over in the Discord server here, as you can see, the bot is online. This is the exact same bot I put into the host, and my computer is completely empty. As you can see, I'm not running the bot on my own. So there's a couple things we need to do when talking about this host. The first thing that you need to keep in mind is sometimes the memory is going to max out. So what this means is you may need to go over to the store, and you may need to go over to resources, and you may need to purchase CPU or memory or disk or any of that. So to do that, you can use your credits that you get by AFKing on the site. So this is all free. If you need that, just go ahead and wait on the site until you have a couple more credits and then you should be able to get some more disk, memory, CPU, or any of that. The other thing to keep in mind here is that you do have a renewal date down here. So after 15 days of creating the server, you're going to have to go in and click on renew and you will be charged five credits to add 15 more days until your renewal date is over. So it's really easy. All you have to do is get five credits to renew that server and as you can see you get five credits per minute so it's really really easy to do that so that's how you can host your discord bot online 24 7 for free if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels one of our coding helpers is actually staff for this host so they should be able to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video